Koba. I spelled my fucking name wrong. Are you believing this? Nobody knows my sorrow. That was my, um, what's that guy's name in The Lion King? The fucking bird. Zazu? Zazu. That was my Zazu impression. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Diddly diddly. And then here's, and then here's my, um, uh, scar. Some as big as your head. Well, let me tell you my little secret. I killed Mufasa. Worst impression ever of Scar, I gotta say. Scar! I can do Mufasa, though. James Earl Jones. Everything that I touch us is our land. Because I said so. I am James Earl Jones. That was terrible. How about Morgan Freeman? Once upon a time, the earth was flat. I am here to tell you what's going on in the movie. I'm Morgan Freeman. Oh wait, I just did I just did something. I just did something. Why can't I do it again? Literally the same spot. Literally the same spot. Use the sonar because it does a thing. It does a thing. It's not doing the thing. It ain't doing it. Not doing it, not doing it, not doing it. Fuck you. What is happening? Move, Lydia! Oh shit, I shot her to the breast! <sighs> that motherfucker got me. That's a cool shot right there, though. Look at that, that was cool looking. When a dragon uses a breath attack like fire or frost, other things happen, but I wasn't fast enough to read it. This is a sphere. That's a tree. I am running. Woe is me. <laughs> Do it! All over my face! Spray it! Do it! Win! Balls! It makes no sense! I don't want to get rid of the screen when I go to it! Okay. God dang it! Our inner and outer selves. Next, I'm raising my hand, sir. I'm raising my hand. Uh, quick question. How much drugs have you and your partners done today? And uh, just give me a ballpark. I want to find out what it means to be a dragonborn Arn Gare. Running across the countryside in Rust, one can think of only one thing. What the hell is the internet? What is the internet? All right, let's break it down. When people get onto the internet, they plug up wires to their computer. All right, now your computer taps into the internet. How does that happen? Well, I will tell you. There is this place. Some people think that it's uh, in Arizona. Others think it's in Russia. The truth is, no one really knows. But what we do know is that at this place, there's a modem made by Logitech. And whenever there's a problem with the internet, all you got to do is unplug the power from that modem at that special place and plug it back up to the wall and then everybody has the internet again so that's how the internet works from that modem in that secret place at that at that whatever case closed bro is this happening Three, right now is this two, happening one. it is oh, i'm gonna wreck you <laughs> the greatest 1v1 in the history of hoc this is oh man this this suddenly got really real you know what and I got news for you, crap. I just got finished playing a little game called Echo the Dolphin, and I'm feeling super wise right now. <laughs> There's the moon, or whatever. Do y'all remember the eclipse that happened a couple weeks ago? It was normal. I was in the path of totality. Chicken! Goodbye! I have to tap into my, to my hidden potential as I fuck up twice in a row. Clearly, you need to play more Echo the Dolphin. 
Here comes my airplane. It's designed especially for me. Yeah. I hope it drops where I told it to. Let me blow the brains out of this deer's ass who. <laughs> See what good is we got. Yay. Yes, sir. I'll take that all damn day. There comes somebody right there. Give me that. What are you doing? Do you know that I called this in and I can blow your brains out right now? You have a sweet rack, though, dude. I'm telling you what's happening. I think you need to reread the rules because clearly I've been doing this for a while now. So why don't you just turn around and go away? before I blow your brains out. I'm gonna give you to the count of 10 to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. One, two, 10. And you got people that play this game, they're like, oh yeah, I totally get it. It's like that, it's like that dumbass that looks at, uh, looks at, uh, looks at, what's that, what's that guy that Cart was talking about? Last night, some kind of an artist, like St. Pierre or some shit. God, what was his name? Oh, a, a, a Van Geiger painting. That guy. It's like somebody looking at that and saying, it'd be like me looking at that and saying, oh yeah, I get it. When I have no fucking idea what it means or what, what it's about. But those that do understand it, those that do have a brain, they have this profoundly deep, I don't know, deliverance. Enlightening period? Something. I'm not gonna have that with this game because I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm watching Eight, you and you're like, seven, it's almost like you're six, fucking. Five, uh, four, that fucking three, two, disease that you can't one. Tourette's. No. No, that's where you can't Parkinson's? control your mouth, you fucking. Yeah, like Parkinson's. Like like it looks like you're shaking. Get it? See what I did there? Whoa. I feel like I'm in a dream from many years ago when I was a wee lad. I have now transported my body and my mind and my soul and not only this realm but in all dimensions. I now am floating above my body, my young body, my young Kobai body. And I see the joy in my face, but I also feel the confusion in my pelvis area, unsure of what is going on when I see a pair of boobies. What do they mean? Why do they make me feel this way? Why are they so awesome? I do not know the answers to these questions, but I must find these answers when I am ready. Fast forward. 22,000 years ago. So you're actually going in reverse, but still forward in all the dimensions and realms that you can feel. I need you now to close your eyes and imagine looking at me, looking at you, but creepily staring, not looking away. It's getting even weirder now. And you're like, what the hell? Stop looking at me, guy. I do not know you. But my eyes don't turn away. In fact, I stand up off of the park bench and I begin walking towards you. Not a subtle walk, but you can hear the subtle pap, 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 bitty pap, pap of my feet hitting the floor, hitting the, hitting the cement softly, gently. And then I open the door to my van and it says candy search for the key glyph says the random words why do the letters sometimes stay behind it makes no sense where the hell is the key glyph what the hell is a key glyph these are unanswerable questions because I will never put in the amount of time required to finish the game Echo the Dolphin. In fact, I have had about enough. I am sad for you. I know not of your pod. What the fuck? Say
Sega. What the fuck, Sega? One of two things now enters my brain. One thought being, this may be the worst game I have ever played. But a second, darker thought now seems to be enveloping my soul. And it says, this may be the greatest game that will ever be made by anybody on any plane of existence, on any planet, in any universe, and even the worlds that we can't put into words that may be there. We don't have the capacity to even think about what they could be because they're so whatever. They're so whatever, these rims that we don't know about. So how can you even talk about them? How can you even think about them? If there was a way to think about them, you'd instantly die of shock. This game sucks, asshole. And I'm done playing it. Who the fuck are you? Ow. I mean, even now, you know? Hey, buddy. How high in the sky can you fly? And then we have dolphins over here that are dropping acid. I don't know, buddy. Let me answer that question. See if I can do a thing. Take my acid, put it on my tongue, and... That happened. <laughs> and now they're playing dubstep. Holy shit. Did that mean I opened the- Oh my god, I opened the gate, yes! Holy shit! This game is awesome! Who the fuck bought this game?